Hey guys, this is Pat the Otaku, aka Jamek, and I'm honestly making this video to show off my Trigun poster that I got from Anime Expo. No, not really. Um, I'm actually here today to uh, share some of my opinions on Anime Expo and some of the things I saw and some of the people I met and some of the panels I went to. So without further ado, let's uh, get let's get going. Um, this was the first ever Anime Expo I ever went to. So I, I kind of knew what to expect, but at the same time, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, people are going to randomly hug me and stuff like that, and I'm going to see signs that say, like, oh, like, free hugs and yawn cat. So, you know, I was, I was kind of going into this, like, I was excited, but at the same time, I was like, oh, I don't know what's going to go down. So anyway, uh, on the first day we showed up, uh, I, went, I, I went with uh, three, uh, two friends, including myself, there was three of us. And uh, we had to go to the pre-registration line. Uh, we had to stand out there for about half an hour in the hot sun. And that was a pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> it sucks because, well, we're waiting in this line. And you have to, and the, the line goes outside the, 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 um, the LA Convention Center. And so we're standing out in the hot sun for about half an hour. But every time the line would move, uh, there, there was shade. Like, there was trees next to the line. But every time my friends and I would move the line forward, we would only be in. The, we would walk through the shade, and then we'd have to. We, we, and then we'd have to stand in the sun again. And there was this guy. There was this guy in front of us who was uh, cosplaying as the black and white Pokemon trainers, and uh, they were. Every time that they stopped, they were in the shade, and I was just like, "Oh, why are they? Why are they in the shade? Oh, that's not fair." Oh, by the way, dragon poster. Very nice. Um, okay, so we finally got in the building, and the first day we went there, we checked out the um, the exhibition hall, which was cool. Um, it was oh god, it, it was it's amazing because uh, just everything, everything anime related ever is in this fucking hall, and the only place that you can like really get anime stuff. It, well, where where I live anyway is um, there's a booth at the, my county fair that's like an anime booth, and it's just this little place where they sell plushies and anime stuff. But that's a bit that's about it. And like I mean, you can go buy manga at like Barnes and Noble or something, and you can like mail order stuff through you know Barnes and Noble, uh, Borders, stuff like that. But it was kind of a treat for me because. Uh, around where I live, there's not really a whole bunch of places where you can go to buy and procure anime stuff. So it was really exciting for me to go into this uh, the exhibition hall, and it's just rows and rows of everything. They got manga, they got complete box sets, they got posters, Trigon poster. They got oh god, they've got uh, mouse pads where they have uh, girls from random anime series and their boobs are like supporting your hands. And they're really sick and gross and perverted, and I loved every second of it. Oh, man. Um, they had booths for, like, Funimation, Bondi, uh, Anaplex. No, Anaplex wasn't there. Um, I'm thinking of Viz... Oh, sorry, Viz Media. Like, it, like all the big guys who were in, uh, who are part of the anime scene were there. And they were giving out, you know... They were giving stuff out. They were giving out flyers. They were giving out necklaces. Um, the... Uh, this one booth actually um, gave me a free whistle, and I don't know why. It has nothing to do with anime or anything, but there you go. I got a free whistle. So, uh, my friends and I pretty much spent the majority of the first day in the exhibition hall, and then uh, we went and we went to the Viz Media panel, and they showed off the... Um, they had this... Uh, uh, their their main thing that they were talking about was this uh, app on the iPhone and the iPad that was uh, all about manga. Was like um, it's this place to run. It's this app where you can go and you can read manga. And I think there was anime streaming or something, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so that was that was their big thing that they were trying to get out there. And they they basically announced stuff like the um, salt um they. They were talking about uh, like Solonin, which is one of my favorite uh, manga books that I have there in the shelf over there. And uh, they were talking about uh, like they were talking about new Bleach chapters. They were talking about the Nar uh, what the new Naruto Shippuden movie. They were talking about all sorts of stuff. 
And that was, oh yeah, and then they were also talking about the uh, Mamishiba, uh, these little, let me, let me see if I can find it here. Where are you, Mamishiba? There we go, oh, here we go. The, the Mamishibas, these are these, these little tiny dogs, you might have seen them uh, if you watch uh, Anno Exorcist, there's like uh, commercials for these guys. But anyway, uh, oh, sorry about that, that's a motorcycle outside my house. Anyway, um, Mamishibas are these cute little like, they're puppies that are like, or dogs, puppies that are like combined with beans. And uh, they were really, uh, they were really hard pressing these and they, they uh, it's like a new, I guess there's some sort of uh, anime based off it or like a story or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I think they're really, 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 really freaking adorable. Look at how fucking adorable you are. Oh, they are. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I look I look and sound like shit because I only got back like an hour ago and I, it was like a two-hour car ride from L.A. to my house, so... I'm a little like, eh, but I wanted to give my, I wanted to give my uh, fresh impressions of the show. Uh, the show's still going on, but I was only there for two days on Friday, Saturday, and so today I'm coming back. So there's much more stuff coming up, but uh, there was not much that my friends and I wanted to go see or do on the third and fourth day, so we decided those were the days we went. Oh, um, one thing that was cool is uh, actually while my friends and I were in the exhibition hall, we actually, uh, or... Uh, my friend Nick and I, at least, uh, Camo Two Three Four on YouTube, we actually got um, to get our stuff signed by legendary, famous voice actor Vic Mignogna. So um, I actually, uh, I got here. I'll show this. This is my special limited edition uh, copy of the Conqueror of Shambhala movie. It's the special edition. And sorry, my computer just went. Blech. So, anyway, it's also signed by Vic Mignogna. Hopefully, um, you guys can see that without too much difficulty. And, but yeah, so I actually, um, I wanted him. To, I I knew that uh, Vic Mignogna was gonna be at. Uh, and, oh God, sorry, if it's glaring. Uh, I actually knew he was gonna be at the uh, Anime Expo 2011. So I actually was like, well, I really wanted to sign my Conqueror Shambhala DVD. So I actually had to go out to Office Depot and. Uh, especially by uh, some metallic markers that would show up on here. And yeah, I'm really excited because not only do I have a limited edition copy of The Conqueror of Shambhala, it's signed by Vic Mignogna, the voice of Edward. And he's also, uh, for those of you who don't know, he's the voice of Tamaki in uh, or, um, or on High School Host Club. I guess he plays some guy in Vampire Night, a show I never saw. Um, he was e He's Ikaku from Bleach. Always cool. Um, what else? I feel like I'm missing something. Um, he yeah, he was Edward from Full Metal Alchemist, obviously, and uh, yeah, that's uh, so we actually got to see and meet Vic Mignogna, and uh, he and I were it was cool because I was wearing uh, I was wearing this T-shirt that uh, said uh, it, it was Spock from Star Trek, and he was doing the uh, Live Long and Prosper thing. And so I go up there and I'm like, hey, Vic, I'm a really big fan. And I shake his hand. He's like, oh my god, you're wearing a Star Trek shirt. I'm the biggest Star Trek fan on the planet. And I'm like, oh my god. So we stood there for a minute and, talk, and we talked about Star Trek. It was really cool. And uh, he's like, whoa, well, yeah. Actually, at this, uh, at this uh, comic convention thing I was at recently, I got to actually stand up and introduce like Leonard Nimoy to like this group, to this panel of people. And I'm like, holy shit. Vic Mignogna is talking to me about Leonard Nimoy. Ah! So it was kind of cool. And just for the record, uh, Vic Mignogna, like, you know, when you know sometimes when you're about to meet a celebrity or a famous person, you get kind of nervous or your, your stomach starts to tighten up or something. Um, I kind of had that happen, but when you actually talk to Vic Mignogna, He's really nice and really approachable. Like you come up, like you walk up to him, and he's like, he's he's not like trying to like get you. He's not trying to like get you out of there. He's not like, okay, you have something, get out of here. No, he's actually really nice. He's like, hey, thanks for coming out here today. You know, like oh, but you have a Star Trek shirt. That's cool. I'm a Star Trek. But you know, it's just he likes to. Um, he really likes his fans, and he likes to get involved and talk with them. So yeah. Ugh, sorry, let me get some sip of my root beer here. Always. Anyway, so also, 
Okay, so then later in the day, I actually went to... They actually had a booth at the in the exhibition hall for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. And um, I don't want to get it out right now, but because uh, it's, in, it's in my bag that I haven't unpacked yet. But I actually got a Card Games on Motorcycles t-shirt. Card Games on Motorcycles! <laughs> All right, and so I actually... Uh, so what sucks is I went to the booth and little Kriba wasn't there, which kind of which which I admit really sucks because I read on the AX website that he was gonna be there, but what you gonna do? So anyway, uh, um, talk. Oh god, are you serious? They're like throwing stuff. Sorry, they're throwing stuff next door. Anyway, so Takahara one one was actually there, manning the uh, he was manning the Yu-Gi-Oh the Abridged series booth. And so I got him to sign the inside of my Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie DVD, which is which is really cool. You know what? The only thing that sucks though is that I actually um, I went by the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge uh, booth later the next day on Saturday, and Crows was there, motherfucking Crows. But you know what sucks is I had the markers and everything, but. I actually, after Takahara signed my DVD, I actually left it back in my hotel room, and so I'm like, oh, shit, I could have gotten it signed by Crows. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but, you know, I got to meet him, and I was like, hey, I'm a big fan, and you're Crows, and he was like, yeah, thanks for coming out, man. And so it was really fun. And, um, basically, the second day, oh, um, did I talk about the walkthrough panel yet? Uh, so anyway, Square Enix was at, uh, they were at Anime Expo, and they were, uh, showing this game, uh, Wakfu, this new MMORPG, which is, like, tactical-based game, which really, really got me excited, and I'm, I won't rant about it here, because I'm probably, I'm probably, uh, you know, dragging this out longer than I need to, but it, it's cool. Uh, you should definitely go check it out. You can actually sign up for the, uh, the beta for it at walkfu.com. So, yeah. I swear I'm not with Square Enix. Anyway, um, so uh, you know, later in the day we went to the Funimation panel, and um, honestly, not too much. They just announced that they're going to uh, start localizing uh, uh, C, the possibility of money and control. They're going to start localizing uh, Steins Gate and Dead Man Wonderland, which I have yet to watch. But I have seen C Control and a little bit of Steins Gate. C Control is actually really good if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, I would go check it out. <clears throat> okay, so second day we actually went to go to Vic Mignogna's panel. It was really cool. He did. He sung. Um, in case you didn't know, he, he Vic Mignogna is a really cool singer and he's really good. And he actually sung the intro to Dean Angel just on the spot, just like, "Hey, people are coming in through the door, so let's let me sing." And it, that was a lot of fun. And then we actually, uh, my, fr my friends and I actually had to stand in line again because the day that we saw Vic, what the the first day that Vic was actually there in the exhibition hall. He kind of just kind of he showed up out of nowhere basically, and it's like the announce the they have like an announcement like attention, Vic Mignogna will be here for a temporary autograph signing, and everyone's just like, oh my god! And so I was right by, I was just wandering around the exhibition hall by myself, and I hear this, I'm like, oh my god! And so I see people running, I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> so everyone runs over there. So anyway, the second day we're there, we go to his um, panel. Really cool. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. I'm not going to really go into it. It's just Vic Mignogna being cool with his fans and all that. So, anyway. Um, after that, we went to... No, before that, we went to the anime... We went to a survey of anime openings and uh, closing themes. That was pretty cool. We got to see Gurren Logan and... Zagon 3! Zagon 3! But, yeah. Um, anyway... Okay, so I'm kind of I'm kind of dragging this on, aren't I? So, this has been Pat the Otaku, aka Jamic, with my awesome new sexy Trigun poster that I got, and yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys.